I went to see my granddaughter this morning. She had a private training and she killed it. She did awesome. And the kids wanted to come over to my house, of course, after. Lainey, you want to say hi? Hi. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just, the healthy's been ringing the doorbell and I'm like, what the heck? So I have to run and I'm video and things. So, listen. Apparently there's an elf outside. So I'm working on Christmas decorations and it is cold, even though my granddaughter has shorts on. She refused to wear pants, so we won't even go there. But anyway, this is what I'm working on. I think this is really pretty so far. I need to get lights up here. And it is almost one o'clock and I am just beginning my shake. I was really hungry. I didn't know her practice was going to go that long. So anyway, Christmas decor time today. <laughs> Guys, aren't you cold? No. <sighs> today we're doing a grocery haul. We have not done a grocery haul for a very, very, very long time. So it was time to get some groceries. We've kind of moved through most of what we had, our, our sort of our backup food. You know, every now and again, you just have to make sure you don't have things jammed way in the back of the pantry or the refrigerator. So it was time for a grocery haul. Now let me show you. My house is a mess, full transparency. It's a disaster. I have people coming over in one hour. So I have to move through this pretty quickly. And, and Kevin promised me while I was gone that this would be put away. It is clearly not. So this is a chair. We have Chairapalooza over here. Look at all these chairs. So this chair, which I absolutely love. I've talked to you about this chair before. This is by a company called Flexaspot. I'll link them in the description box. I love this chair. It's a lift chair. It lays all the way back. It will push you all the way up to a stand position. Well, long story short, Kevin's dad, my husband Kevin, his dad's having really bad mobility issues right now. And when he sits in the couch, he just cannot get himself up out of the couch. So we said we would bring him this chair because I think it'll make a massive difference for him to just, I don't know, just feel a little more secure in his environment. You know what I mean? So he was supposed to get that taken apart and get that on the road to his dad. He did not do that. And we have everything out still because we're trying to get our Christmas tree up. So we're moving furniture around. Anyway, I have so much to do. It looks like he didn't put anything back, but that's okay. I will take care of it after this grocery haul. All right, so let's get into the grocery haul. So I picked up this Davidson's Organics tea. I really enjoy this tea. I like herbal caffeine free tea. That's what I drink in the evening. And their teas are just, they're really, really good. So I picked up chamomile and fruit and cherries jubilee. I got some spinach, which I'm going to put immediately into the freezer for my smoothies. I also picked up some blueberries for my smoothies. Now, if you're watching my channel, you know that I'm having trouble with swallowing. So just kind of know some of the foods you're seeing are kind of soft food driven because, you know, I'm working on that. So I picked up some oven roasted turkey breast. Everything, by the way, that I eat unless I tell you otherwise and why. Everything is going to be low carb and also Weight Watchers friendly. Now personally I do Weight Watchers diabetic as a secondary tracking means. My main thing is low carb and exactly how many carbs I allot myself for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, or dessert. Always, always, always down in the description box if you ever want to follow along. And just as a reminder, I do not count carbs in non-starchy vegetables or berries. I do count bananas, but I don't count berries because they're very, very low in sugar. 
So blueberries are one thing that I don't count. So like I said, I picked up some turkey breast. These are very low in carbs. I'm going to give you the carb count, two carbs. I also grabbed some carrots. I'm going to make my pastina soup. I needed celery. I got some peppers because we're going to do Kevin's Chop Chop Salad. Who remembers Kevin's Chop Chop Salad? Push pause, go down in the comments and tell me, yes, I remember, or what the heck is that? Kevin's Chop Chop Salad is amazing, and I know a lot of you really like it as well. So we also needed cucumbers for that, and for me. Then I got a big thing of apples for Kevin. I am going to try to make an apple crumble. And I'm going to have to, I don't know, it's hard to get an apple crumble low in carbs, but I can get it real, I can knock off 50% of, of usually how many you would see. So I got a bunch of, um, those are honey crisp. I got two things of bananas, so you know I use frozen bananas for my smoothies. I got some onions, those will be in my pastina soup. I needed some lettuce. I'm still having trouble with lettuce. That's one of those things that I absolutely love, but the swallowing, that's a challenge. I also picked up, yeah, did I show you the peppers already? Two things of peppers for Kevin's Chop Chop Salad. This is the base of his salad. And then, not lettuce, by the way. You guys know that, though. He doesn't put lettuce in his Chop Chop. I got a thing of cheddar cheese. This is zero carbs for just a grate. Yeah, I like to grate this up and have it on hand. Then I got some one-third less fat cream cheese. Let me see what this one is in the carbs. Less than one gram of carbs, so zero on that. Now, Kevin survives on sugar-free pudding. I like it too, but he he lives on it. He loves it. I've never seen this one before. Churro Delicioso. That didn't come out right whatsoever. Let's try that one again. Churro Delicioso. No, wrong. <laughs> Oh, well, you know what it says. We'll just say that. All right, how many carbs are in this? 10 grams of carbs. But I think this is going to be good. I like churros. I'm definitely going to try that. So I also got him some dulce de leche chocolate and the chocolate and vanilla. And these are all zero sugar. The other thing that he loves, cannot live without, is the Greek Light and Fit Blueberry. He loves the blueberry one, and I gotta tell you, it is pretty darn good. Eight grams of carbs, so I got two things of that, and one thing of the strawberry. He really likes that one too. Let's see what the carbs look like. Nine grams of carbs on that one. Then for me, I picked up some 2% Good Culture Cottage Cheese three grams of carbs. This is my preferred butter. I like the light butter with canola oil. You know, most of the time I do regular butter. I just do it in moderation. But from time to time, I will use this one. So I like to have it around. Zero carbs on this. Then for me, I picked up three of these Good Culture cottage cheese with strawberry and blueberry. I like both of these a lot. Four grams of carbs. I think it's in all of them. Let's see. Yeah, four grams of carbs in these. Then I grabbed some whipped cream. They did not have the sugar-free, so moderation. For me, one spoonful of whipped cream on this cottage cheese with the fruit or even on one of these yogurts is a really good dessert for me. Then I also picked up some unsweetened strawberries, frozen strawberries. The blueberries are unsweetened as well for smoothies. So I will do on these fruit smoothies instead, remember with the banana, I count that as carbs, but on berries, I don't. So with this, I will do usually about a cup of the frozen strawberries or even a cup of the frozen blueberries, but always make sure 
that they are unsweetened. That's really, really important. And then I'll do a big, giant handful of frozen spinach. And with that, I'll put a vanilla protein shake, blend that up, delish. Perfect for breakfast for me. I got some zero net carb tortillas. These are 14 carbs for one. And then I also picked up some Hawaiian rolls. I like these Hawaiian rolls with the turkey that I showed you. So these are not bad, 15 grams of carbs for one roll. So if I really start feeling like I want a little bit of bread, I'll have one of these. I put it in my air fryer and it's really good. I'll put a little half a piece of cheese with some of that turkey and that gets the job done for me. And speaking of cheese, I picked up some Colby Jack cheese. This is full fat cheese, zero carbs. Giant thing of broccoli. I eat the heck out of broccoli. And then I picked up a cheese pizza for the kids. Like I said, people are coming over today. We're going to watch the Chiefs game and the kids will have this pizza. What are you doing buying this, Barrett? Wait a minute. What the heck is this? I hear you. I get it. I understand. I am having so much trouble eating meat. And you're probably saying, you're going to call that meat? Uh, listen, I get it. I understand. But I'm trying to start somewhere. So this, I picked it up. It was $2.50. I don't know. I know that there's a likelihood I will eat none of this or just a little bit. 45 grams of carbs. But I don't anticipate that I will eat all this in any way. But I'm, I'm really trying. I'm really trying to increase the density of the food I'm eating. Put it that way, because I've been on liquids for a while now. I also picked up some chicken breast and also my favorite turkey tenderloin. You know how I always talk to you about the turkey tenderloin. I usually buy the one that has no flavoring. This does have flavor, but I really like it and it's super soft. And I feel like it's something that I can work towards because I wanna be able to eat turkey on Thanksgiving. So four grams of carbs, that's only because it's flavored. Usually like the plain one is zero. And then I got more. I thought I had gotten Kevin more yogurt. So here's another strawberry cheesecake, another blueberry. I got four boxes. These were a dollar a piece of this pasta. So when my grandson, I usually have my grandson on Thursdays. I try to get him on Tuesdays too, but sometimes his mom is like going in a hundred directions. He always wants to come over, but sometimes we just can't connect. But He's always over on Thursday for a, usually from around 4.30 in the afternoon till about 9 at night because my granddaughter has a long cheer practice and he doesn't want to go to that. So he loves these. So I like to buy those for him. I also picked up, by the way, let's just check the carbs. The carbs are 38 grams for a serving. So... There you have it. You know, if you're gonna do carbs, I would always say, on pasta, I always say do carbonata. But, you know, if you're not super carb sensitive, this isn't that bad. I picked up some of the stove top, again, for a trial run. 21 grams of carbs for one serving. So not horrible, not horrible. You can do this. For those of you that are trying to go low carb, you can definitely do this. All right, these, these are for me. Light Life Tempe Protein Crumbles. I have never had these before, but they're high in protein, extremely low in carbs, nine grams, and I'm having so much trouble with a protein source that I'm gonna try them. I don't know, I don't know. Have you ever had tempeh before? Do you say tempe or tempeh? I don't know. Do If you eat this, will you tell me how you make it? What is your favorite way to make it? Knowing that I love garlic and onion and that kind of thing, should I just like stir fry it? My understanding was it tastes like nothing. It just takes on the flavor of what you put it with. So let me know what your favorite way is to cook this. Tofu, I don't absolutely hate, but I don't love. And I think it might taste like tofu, but let me know. 
This is for the kids, a little baby mini ravioli. 30 grams, is that 30? Yeah, 30 grams of carbs for the whole can. Really? No, 52 grams for the whole can. Fat-free refried beans. I like to do a couple tablespoons of these on a tortilla. 22 grams of carbs for a half cup. I don't eat a half cup of this because I don't love it. I like it enough to eat it, but I don't love it. So this one can of, of fat-free refried beans for me is going to be about mm, five to six servings because, I, like I said, I don't love it. But it's okay. I can make a meal out of it. I needed some better than bouillon vegetable base for my soup. I needed more garlic. And I got a big thing of bleach. Can someone explain to me why this bleach is $1.89 and every single other bleach on the shelf was like seven or eight dollars or even nine dollars i don't understand i mean to me bleach is bleach maybe i'm wrong but i went with that one and then lastly trigger warning trigger warning everybody out of the room gooey butter cookies i got these for the kids they love them they are delicious they are on nobody's diet could you eat one of these and be fine probably but if you're going to eat the entire box of them, like I would do, then don't even have one. That would be my best suggestion. So I'm going to start putting all this away. I've got about 45 minutes left now, so I have got work to do.